now with festival performances all over the world and a new album that entered the charts at number two. It's fair to say the vaccines are going to have a pretty busy summer. Yes, they are. They say that their third studio album is their best yet. We'll ask you about that in a moment. And they've tried to take a different approach to making it. We're going to hear their new single first. It's called Dream Lover. Let's say good morning to Justin Young, Lee Guitarist, Freddie Cowan, both here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love okay. that we said in the lead-in earlier on, they describe it as their best album yet. Yes. As if you'd say, actually, well, this one's well, not as good as the other ones. Uh, best. <laughs> I know, not Shock Horror good. Band yeah. releases a new record. And that's 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 good. Done, yeah. uh, well, good to see you here. Tell us about that, because you were just explaining what was going on. Are you, are you being... Swivel, swiveled in the in a box to get the thing. Yeah, we were trying to get like a zero gravity effect. So yeah. they build like a kind of cube room, on like a, and then they rotate it. They kind of spin him like a. But gravity is still very much in effect, and Pete came out of that with sort of various different scars. Oh, did you yeah. bruises? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bruises, yeah. Because you have to wait until the last minute that it just turns, before you kind of walk with it. So it's actually so quite So he cool. kept just kind of going bang. <laughs> <laughs> like in a washing machine or something. And you wrote, did you write the script for it? Well, I didn't write the script, but I yeah. did, you know, I sort of survive and get the girl. So you did write, well, I mean. I mean, I definitely, I guess it was my concept, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it was always going to be you. Yeah, yeah, so all I'm going to be the hero. All the guys are going to get, get the girl. And, yeah, yeah going to get killed and then uh, I'm going <laughs> to fly away with the girl. And are you all big sci-fi fans or is it just... I think it's not just sci-fi. I mean, all the, all the videos on this record are um, sort of an ode to different kind of subgenres of kind of B-movies. And I think oh, that, fair, like, yeah. I think we just really like that sort of aspirational quality and that sort of heightened reality. I think we like the idea that, like, you wouldn't see us down the pub, like, you know what I mean? I think that's sort of almost an extension of hopefully the music itself, really. And is, is the kind of the, the uniform top thing part of that? Is no, it, we is just it? like uh, shopping together. <laughs> just shop together, yeah. do it, eat together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very sweet. Now, you've got a busy <laughs> summer coming up, haven't you? Because you're, are, you, are you shooting straight off after this to go overseas, is that right? We're going straight to New York. Yeah, we're okay. going to go and do a show of ours in New York. And we're also playing with Mumford & Sons in New Jersey. We're playing in Washington. And yeah, we're just kind of... On an endless run, we just came straight from Paris and... And then back over to do Glastonbury in the yep. summer. Glastonbury, yeah. So how does that sit in there? Uh, you know, you're doing very well, the album comes in at number two. Where does playing Glas Glastonbury Glastonbury is there? like, I mean, it's the, mo it's the biggest, most important festival. I mean, it's the, it's the holy grail. I mean, I grew up watching that on the BBC every year and kind of hoping that one day, or dreaming that one day... I might be up there. So now it's it's amazing. It, this is like our fourth Glastonbury, I think, and so, yeah. And this uh, is special. Maybe, it yeah. is. I've never yeah. been. If it, is it a very special atmosphere? I think it's oh, above it's and beyond atmosphere. any other festival. I yeah. just think the sheer like magnitude of it and the amount of bands and entertainment and artists. Yeah. So also, nothing else really. It's just nice to have a way to get in. Because <laughs> yeah. all our yeah. friends so, are like, you don't understand. That. It's so difficult. Like we're all just sitting here worrying. Like, can we get a ticket? Can we get in? Yeah. Can you I take a friend? We take one friend. Take a friend. One yeah. friend, that's <laughs> it! Yeah. That is I know. Yeah, we roll, roll deep. I think we're going to see some more of the music now. Uh, we're going to see If You Wanna. Just say to the, to the boys here that uh, I hate doing this thing where, well, I don't hate yeah. it exactly, because I do it all the time. This. When I say, do you know what that reminds me of? Thing, isn't it? Do you know what that reminds me of? Shall so, I tell you? Yeah. Please. This could be bad, could be good. No. The undertones. That's oh, great. That's a massive compliment. That's is that a good brilliant. one? I yeah. love the Because it is, it's got that kind of that driving pace to it. And yeah. it's a love song as well. Undertones, I guess, one of the first sort of punk bands to write love songs sort of openly. Yeah, that's They're a big compliment. Good. Big, big influence yeah. on us. And Lionel Richie, that's the other person it sounds like. But, Thanks uh, very yeah. much. Thanks. Just made that yeah. up. Big influence on my hair. Oh, yeah, maybe on the hair. I mean, tell us about the album. So it's got kind of very different kind of songs on it. That's the way I heard it anyway. I think the songs themselves are very similar. I think that we we started out there with this kind of game plan to do something different, so to essentially dress them up differently. I think it's the first time we've ever embraced modernity in production and yeah. essentially tried to make a record of the times rather than something that we maybe saw as timeless. In the past we've kind of written these songs, gone into the studio, plugged in and played and put them out and this time was, was about exploration and mm. 
you know, pushing ourselves really and, and sort of making something slightly more rounded, I think. Yeah. Good luck on the, uh, all the journeys that lie ahead. Yeah. Thank you so Have much. Have fun. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> uh, the Vaxi's new album, English Graffiti, is out right now. That's pretty much it from us. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning, of course, at six. And you can be joined by Kate Humble, aren't you? That's right. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.